Let's check your forecast now. It is a Friday night. We're heading into the weekend. Yeah, meteorologist Peter Hall joins us on the weather deck. What if you're heading down to Cortland for the Cortica Jug game tomorrow, Peter? It's a great game to watch. I know tickets are sold out, but maybe there's a third-party market you can work. <laughs> yeah, that's always a big game every single year, like you mentioned. Well, as we look ahead, I think we're going to have a pretty good-looking weekend. Now, today, most of us were sunny, unless you live or travel over to the Finger Lakes in Wayne County and Points West, where clouds were more dominant. So let's see where we go from here. We'll break it down place by place. We'll start you off with an overview. So, yeah, we'll keep an eye on some clouds, but overall, only minor matters basically between now and Wednesday. Also, you may notice even right now a full moon. In the next weathercast, we're going to show you that there's actually a super moon as well. So, our next big weather maker, something more notable, we talked about this the last two, three days at least. Thursday is our transition day where things get active. We may actually start Wednesday night as well. A notable storm system, which is going to take many days to form, will eventually come at us. At first, it's going to be rain and even some steadier, heavier rain, and then likely wrapping up to wind and worse weather for Friday and next weekend, meaning it's windy, it's colder than we've had, when you, especially when you consider the wind chill, and there's likely to be precipitation. Mostly it looks like rain, but it also looks like some snow is going to mix in. If you're saying, well, Pete, how much? We're talking about something a week away. And we aren't even sure exactly how this system is forming. Is it a big, huge system with strong emphasis on wind and extra snow over just higher elevations? Or do the lower elevations get involved? My thinking right now is the best chance of accumulating snow would probably be higher elevations. Again, a lot of time to watch. We're talking about something a week away plus. Anyway, here's the cloud cover using the super sensitive satellite picture here. There's the yellow. There's the cloud cover that's basically been roughly in this position. It's moved around a little, but it's still rather cloudy from Wayne County across Seneca, parts of Cayuga County, western Cortland County and into western New York. All this pink area, that's essentially a clearer sky. And you'll notice that I think as we go through 8 p.m., the cloud cover, which is over Wayne County and Cuga County, should drop south and weaken, although those of you from Penyan West likely staying cloudy and probably an increase in clouds while you're sleeping before all this falls apart and turns to a sunny sky for everybody. So, yeah, those of you that stayed overcast today, you'll get the sun tomorrow. That includes the Ithaca Cortland game, Cortica Judd, and everybody. Sunday, a mix of sun and clouds. A system is small coming through late Sunday night, Monday morning with some showers, otherwise mostly cloudy. Monday, sun and clouds Tuesday, increasing clouds Wednesday with a few sprinkles. There's that rainy Thursday and worse weather with wind, rain, and possibly some wet snow Friday. Stanley Law Skywatch. There's everybody. Everybody's working for the weekend, and it's here. Back inside. Thank wow, you. Pete, that Thank was you great. Love boy. <laughs> Coming up on NBC3 News at 5.